why. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I had this big idea to work on the variant at the junkyard, I didn't account for um, the crap rain weather. I didn't account for this. I didn't see this coming and now it's raining. And it's supposed to rain all day long. It rained all day yesterday, so, so yeah, there's that. I tried to go to GK yesterday to order some parts, but they were closed yesterday due to a German holiday. I went today, I had them order the EGR valve. I might buy it somewhere else so for cheaper, but I had them order one just in case. That won't be here until Monday. So. I got some new boots yesterday and I have like my um, overall kind of jacket thing, but it's just gonna suck, it rains all day long. I still wanna go today, I still wanna try and get as much done as possible, so I wanna swap the hood, the fender, the door, the seats, the door latch, um, the front bumper, find some O2 sensors and just bring the car home today, but this, uh, this rain's really gonna put a damper on all of that. All right, we might just luck out. It's been about an hour or so. It's about 11.45 now. Ideally, I want to be the junkyard ride at 11 o'clock, but the rain just messed it up. But I had the entire car loaded up, ready to go. I have all my camera stuff. We're doing this, we're doing this. And the plan, Casey's gonna drop me off there. And the plan is just to drive the Bora home today. So, that's how it goes. I have faith, I have confidence. I think we got this. Show you the, uh, the loadout here. I think I have every tool I own. Basically, we have the boots, the hand warmers, which are super handy. I have gloves, paperwork for the car, um, some plates here, jack, jack stands, all of my toolboxes, my tool bag. I have my little jumpsuit. I think I got everything I have pretty much in the garage. So anything we come across today, I should have a tool for. We should be good to go. Take it all back, hate the things that you said. I wish you didn't mean it Under attack, running far, far away And I'd rather keep my distance from you You don't got a lot of me to get through Push and pull me off into the deep And let's pretend that nothing ever happened on that the more variant feels good to be back i miss this car a lot I, mean, I haven't even driven it off this long yet but i've already missed this car i just i just like it something about it, it just i just like it um all of my tools and everything load up in the back of this car the plan is to just work out of the variant while i'm here we have hood fenders and door and bumper that way so i'm gonna work on the car in this spot and then we're gonna move the car to there work on the seat transfer over there and then i'm gonna find some o2 sensors to swap in as well but by the end of today, we're gonna have a car looking great, lots of new pieces, and we're gonna drive this thing home. At least in my head, that's how it's all working out. So, it's gonna happen. All right, so first things first, we need to get back here. First off, look at all of my space. I just love having a variant. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my boots on and put my jumpsuit on because like it's muddy and nasty and I'm not trying to ruin my shoes. So that's first step. And probably the most essential thing for today, got the hand warmers, baby. No cold fingers today. I got 10 of these things. We're ready to go. Little variants running great so far. Just moved it over here to this corner, like my little like work area. So we'll get started. There's also this nice blue 1.6 golf that just came in, but it has nice alloy wheels, and I got these steelies here, so. Might try and swing it and uh, have those wheels by the end of the day as well. We're going hiking again. Back to my secret little Bora back here. Ooh, Ooh there she is. So first thing I want to do, I want to try, I tried last time I didn't see it, but I need, I need to find the paint coat on this car and make sure it's the same as mine. But ideally, I want to take this door with no dents in it, this mirror that's not broken, this fender, this hood, and this front bumper because it has the, uh, Headlight washers swap all that to my car because this one's dent free. I don't see any dents and no rust, so much better than mine. Try and snag all that uh, for my car. All right, so to my surprise, I didn't think this car was reflex silver. I thought it was the um, one of the other ones, but to my surprise, it actually is. Check this out. Oh, also, I found these down here. They already replaced some of the coil packs on this car and the spark plugs. So I have new spark plugs and two new coil packs, looks like. And then under here, if we lift this up by the handle. There it is. Right here, you can see Bora 1.6 basis. You can see the um, the type it is, the engine code right there, 77 kilowatts, the AZD, but right there, LA7W. So this car is reflex silver. Cool. Now, to make sure the other Bora is the same. That thing is sick, I like that a lot. 
So upon further inspection, the bore over there is actually satin silver where this car is reflex silver. So they're a little bit different shades of silver. I'll put a picture on the screen right here. There's actually a golf over there, two golfs over there. One satin silver, one's reflex silver. Um, you can see a little bit of a difference. The uh, satin silver is a little bit more white tint to it. Well, this one's a bit darker, but it's not too crazy off. Like the greens on my car were very, very off, but it's not too bad. Um, but I do think I'm still going to swap them over because a non-dented fender that's a little bit off in color is better than a dented fender and dented hood or whatever it is. So we'll start with that. Sorry, it's a bit windy and I haven't really done any work yet, but I just found a Bora 1.6 Mark IV. I didn't even know it's here. It's a variant, but it has a full set of perfect leather door cards that I'm taking. Check this out. Bora Mark IV variant under a lot of cards, but still check this out. Hold on. Ooh, beautiful leather door cards. All of them in good shape and also have, let me see that or not, let me see. The wood grain little dash pieces around it there. Snagging those, snagging these. It's also a one six, so maybe grab the uh, parts off the motor I need as well. So, so sick. This is a good find. So we have the fender and the bumper off so far. I have to pull off the door, but we're getting there. You can see the color is a little bit different. This is, like I said, more dark. This is a bit lighter, but to have a non-dented fender for a nice clean fender and a cleaner bumper and a cleaner door is what we'll do. I have to pull off the door still and swap all the internals because the other door is a manual door and not wired for the um, electric windows. So pull that door off as well, change all that stuff over, and then grab my door cards, but we're getting there. Further update, I have two leather door cards acquired so far. The problem is the other two are so close to the car next to one, I can't open the door, the door far enough to get to the bottom screws. I'm trying my very best, but I don't know if I'm able to have enough room to do it or not, but I got two so far. Other good news is I scored the wheels off that car. So no more steelies. We're gonna have a nice set of, boom, actual alloy wheels, which is sick. I couldn't get the hood because one bolt stripped out. The last bolt on the hood Stripped out completely, can't get it off. And then again for the door here, I don't know if that door will work for this car because that door is a manual door. This is electric and the wiring going to the door that's actually in the door is different. And I can't seem to figure out how to get the window off of the regulator, but I'll do more research later on that and figure it out exactly. Um, but for now, got a huge course of our new set of wheels. We got a fender, we got a bumper, we got a nice leather door cards. Well, a half set of door cards and then we're gonna have the seats from over there. Gonna be a good day. Absolutely huge moves. I got all the leather door cards, all four. Look at that. So this one, I was able to pull out one screw on the bottom. On this side, I had to break this one, unfortunately. A little bit of a crack, but you'll never see it, so not that bad. The front one here, which had even less room, somebody before me had already pulled all the screws out, so I was able just to pop it up and out, and whoa, we got them. Oh yeah, full set of leather door cards. Like, beautiful condition. Yeah, beautiful condition, and also we got that that wood trim for inside the ashtray cover, the lower like OD port cover, AC trim, and the two side panels. So those will replace all this boring, just black in here. All that, get that, get that wood trim, baby. So the plan now, while I'm in this spot over here, I'm gonna swap the bumper, the fender, the door cars, and the wheels from the blue car. And then I'll move the entire car over to that side, swap the seats, and we'll be done for the day. Oh, also O2 sensors. I need to find some of those if I can. And then we are good for the day, and the car's been looking so sick. There it is. All right. Out the old. And then in with the new. Hit that washer bumper. Bam. We got the old bumper off. I'm gonna swap this lip to that one because that one's a bit messed up. But you can see the uh, the nozzles here. I'll mount the actual sprayers. They go right there. And then that's about it for that. But while the bumper's off, I'm gonna go ahead and get the fender off, swap that one on, and then reassemble it. We're good. I wanna show you something. This right here. Now, the fenders really aren't rusty, but this is why fenders rust out. Dirt, mold, leaves get stuck in here, all the moisture, and it just rots the car out. So if you can, get all that junk out of there and save your fenders because oh my god this thing is look at that caked in there we don't want that we're making ourselves some good progress um this is a new fender old fender over here it's dented there there on the bottom a little bit of rust nice new fender and actually under the car here the bushings are kind of old but i don't really see any rust 
it's dirty in here, but rust wise, we're looking pretty good, which is nice, which is super nice. So down here looks okay, the strut tire looks okay. So rust wise, looks like we got another good one, which is awesome. So fender back on, bumper back on, do the wheels real quick. I'll do the door cards here in a minute, but I wanna get over there fast before it closes up and get the seats that we can shoot out of here. But we're getting, whew, she's gonna look so good. It's so nice having like every part you need just right here. Door cards, bumpers, fenders, everything like that. So sick. Ooh, got the new headlight washer bumper on and the new fender on, looking so much better. The silvers are off, but honestly, it's not, not that big a deal. Honestly, that door there kind of matches this one. It looks different than that one. So maybe that door is also satin silver and that's reflex. I don't quite know. Either way, this bumper is cool. I like it. Fender looks good, no more dents in it. Now it's time for wheels. All right, here's where we're at. Car's running back on the ground. Unfortunately, couldn't get the wheels because they have wheel locks on them and the car doesn't have the wheel lock inside it and I checked every wheel lock they have here, every spare one they have. Could not find a wheel lock anywhere. There's a Passat that has cool wheels on it too. Passat is five by 112 where it's different. Didn't fit, so unfortunately, all we have to do today was the fender and the bumper. Um, no wheels, got the nice door cards, but they're not on yet. And I got the cool wood dash pieces, but until um, Tuesday of next week, we'll come back, we'll do the seats. Um, we'll try and find a key for those wheels or to buy some on our own, um, but those are nice. So we'll do the seats next week. We'll do the wheels next week. We'll try and do maybe another hood, but right now, she looks pretty good. So now, go for our first drive and see how, how she does. All of our lights work, which is nice. Lights on, lights on, which is cool. Good, good, good. Let's take her home. Wish could have done more today, but it took longer than I thought. But at least we have this. No more dents. We are about to drive the boar for the first time, and Casey wants me to go to the store and get pizzas for dinner tonight, so we're really gonna push it. So, fingers crossed we make it there. Oh, it's gonna be exciting. Everything feels good so far. We're going through the gears nicely. Woo, look at this go. Like the same feeling I had when I drove the Savoy home and then it started dying, but I don't know. Cruising out nicely. Look at us go in our little, our little variant. Look at us go, dang. Not bad, not bad. We officially just had our first successful drive and look who we parked next to, an American Jetta wagon. Wagon boys, yeah, wagon squad. So, we'll grab this pizza real quick and then we'll cruise home, but the car felt good so far. Obviously, I want to fix all the, um, honestly, today I didn't even look for O2 sensors or any of that stuff, but I have an EGR valve already coming and I'm just gonna order the O2 sensors and just knock them out brand new. That way, it's not a problem anytime soon, but other than that, I think we're, I think we're good. Look at this, Wagon Squad, Wagon Squad. It's exciting, all these parts, so much room for everything in here, it's so exciting. All right, I gotta do it real quick. Gotta do it real quick. Wait for it, wait for it. Bam, Jetta wagon, Bora wagon, so sick. Got the headlight washer bumper. You can see how he has the um, the light there where mine is uh, clean through here, but it's so cool to see him side by side. Bam, bam, his headlight's nice in mine. I would have had nicer wheels in him, but uh, you got screwed on that, but it's okay. Not bad, let's do the backside, hold up. Ooh, Jetta TDI, Bora 1.6. You can see the hatches are different. I have the long one, he has the small one, but that's so cool to see him side by side. Wagon squad. All right, gonna do a little third gear pull here. We're at three, almost 2,000 RPM, 60 miles, no, 60 kilometers, sorry. And go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And fourth. Woo! Go, 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 60 miles an hour. She's still pulling. Oh, the power. Everything you got, little one six, go. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cool off now. That's too fast. That was almost 200 miles an hour. She was flying. We were cooking. Needless to say, she's got the power. She has got the power. I'm not gonna lie, hold on. I think I actually like Mark IVs. Now, I don't like how overly complicated it is to pull things off, like how many bolts there are, like nuts and screws to pull like one thing off, but I like how they just feel like they cruise out like it's just comfy and I don't, I don't know I think I like Mark IV is that weird someone commented on the last picture I posted of this car they said uh, MK3 Smith coming soon 
or MK4 Smith coming soon, but it's not gonna happen. I like Mark III's better still, but I do enjoy this car. I do. I enjoyed the last one we had. I enjoyed the R32. I enjoy this car. This gonna be a fun little daily. Fun little daily. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bora is officially home with cold AC, with the radio chilling. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. This thing, I love this thing. It looks so amazing. I've wanted a variant for so long, and I'm so hyped on this one. And it's a Bora. It's sick. So now we have the Jetta body style, the Golf Tudor body style, the Golf Forder body style, and the variant. We now have all of them. That's so sick. I love this thing. And now, I didn't think this car was reflex silver. It actually is by the paint code, but I thought this car was reflex silver. Maybe I just thought wrong or this is like a newer version but that looks so much like brighter than this car here either way this car is cool we got a a satin silver fender and bumper but it looks nice it's not too off i'm hyped so unfortunately we didn't do near as much stuff as i wanted to do today i really underestimated how long it would take to pull parts off and then pull parts off of this car again and then reinstall them while i was kind of walking around looking for more things i found those door cards by accident so I definitely underestimated how long it was going to take. I didn't even look for any O2 sensors, which I could have done for sure. Um, I think I'll probably go back and pull an entire exhaust off a car because this one's rattling. And it might be a bad cat. Someone said there was a recall on them and they go bad. So I might snag another one off another 1.6 and then try to grab the O2 sensor off that one as well. EGR5 will be here on Monday. Um, tomorrow we'll probably do the door cards, the trim pieces inside. And then, of course, my absolute favorite, we are going to trim paint the everything on this car the side moldings the rear piece here the front the lip oh yeah the roof rack pieces up there she's gonna be looking minty fresh i'm so excited the rear lip down here oh, i'm so excited for this thing once this car passed inspection we're gonna put an exhaust on it because i don't want to have a stock one anymore we'll get a suspension for this car we'll get wheels for this car i set to go back on Tuesday and do the seat swap and maybe we'll swap I can find the proper lug for it because we lost it is stupid But I'm so excited for this car man and then also on Monday. I'll probably go to Capone get temporary plates for the car because um, We need those and then probably after I get the EGR valve in and the new O2 sensors and hopefully have the check engine light off the car We'll take it to inspection. Hopefully it passes no problem. The e-brake works. The brakes will fine There's no worries, squeaks or rattle besides the exhaust rattling, but we'll fix that So I think the car will be good to go the washers work all that kind of stuff Everything in the car works all the lights So I think we'll be good I think we got a, a good daily on our hands a little bit of work to fix her up. Hopefully there's no hidden problems I hope, I really hope, because the last car off the junkyard is still sitting um, right there. It looks great, but again, this wasn't my fault. The car was stalling before I even got it, so not my fault. This car at least runs, so that's good. I also meant to grab, I want to get new ones of these, since these are the same as uh, this style. I want to get the nice, cool, like, chrome ones I had before on the green car, because these ones are kind of... I don't know, they're kind of dead. So we get a new set of those. We have a nice chrome one for the hood. But oh, I'm hyped. Look at what space is back here. The back seats aren't even down and I have all of the space in the world. I'm not gonna lie, I am so sad we didn't get wheels today. Like I am so, you guys know how frustrating that was. I went through like 75 spare wheel locks that I have there and not a single one fit that car we checked inside the car the glove box the back every can look for it just wasn't there so not meant to be i want wheels for those cars so bad so hopefully we can find one for those wheels or i'll just buy a set but those have been cool a lot cooler than having steelies and hubcaps i'd like to have some actual alloy wheels but can't win them all dang the variants reunite what's up buddy good to see you Here's your scanner, cause cool. help me out so much. Yeah, I'm glad, man. Ooh. Our favorite VR6 turbo variant. This thing is so sick. And he might be selling these wheels, and I might get those Audi wheels for that car, possibly. I love this thing. Variant squad. Hey, buddy. Love that thing. <laughs> oh, that'll never get old. Ever, ever, ever. All right, boys and girls, that is it for today. Hopefully you're hyped on the variant. I'm so just, 
finally got a wagon. I've wanted a wagon for so long, and we finally got one. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe. Don't forget to be thankful for this day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.